Hi, this is Dale O'Shills, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for these video devotionals today. And I hope these are a blessing in your life. Hope that you're enjoying them and benefiting from them. And also would encourage you to share them with other people, encourage others to subscribe uh, so that we can continue to grow in our spiritual walk. When I mention the word change, what's, what's the response emotionally in you? For some folks, as soon as they hear the word change, there's an excitement. Change, wow, that's awesome. They love change. Other people uh, are, in fact, the majority of people, when they hear the word change or the concept of change, there's a bit of a, of a negative response, a sense of maybe reaction to the fact of, oh, I really don't want change. And so there's something in all of us that tends to resist change. But I want to remind you that when Jesus comes into our life, he comes in to create changes. Jesus is always changing us. In fact, when Jesus began his ministry, he started out his ministry with a call for people to change. In Matthew chapter 4, 17, the scripture says, From then on, Jesus began to preach, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Now, he used a very powerful word there, and that's the word repent. And the, the word repent in the Greek language, the original language of the New Testament, uh, is a word, it's the word metanoia, and it, it's the word that means to actually change the way you think, let there be a changing of your mind. That's something change in the patterns of your thought that will result in the changing of patterns of behavior. And so repentance always changes your thinking and your actions, uh, what you do with your life as well as how you think about life. And so Jesus called people to change. Now, here's the challenge with us. All of us uh, get stuck in places in life. We kind of get comfortable with where we are. We sort of get uh, used to our habit patterns. And maybe we think, I've just always been this way. I can never be any different. But I want to remind you today that Jesus, when he comes to you, he comes to you to make some changes in your life. So can I ask you right now in your life, what needs to change? Is there an attitude that needs to change? Is there a pattern in one of your relationships that needs to change? Is there a, a dimension of your relationship with God that needs to change? Is there something in terms of your work habits that need to change? I don't know the answer to the question for you, but I would ask that question of you today. What in your life needs to grow and change? Where do you need to give some attention so that through that repentance, through that idea of changing my mind, I will begin to change my behavior and changing my behavior, I'll begin to change my mind. They go together, but I want, you, want to encourage you to embrace the concept of repentance. Repentance says, God, I am willing to change.